Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. As you can see we are back in American Truck Simulator. We are jumping right into it obviously because I am going to go ahead and get started driving to where my first pickup, well I guess the only pickup location for today is going to be. And uh, we are in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That is right, we are in the new DLC. That is kind of what we're covering today. So with that being the case, so let's go ahead and take a quick pause from the driving and take a look at the map. Taking a look at the map here, obviously a little bit smaller of a DLC, but we have got Tulsa, McAllister, Idabel, don't know if I'm saying that one right, uh, Ardmore, Oklahoma City, Enid, also don't know if I'm saying that one right, but also Woodward, Clinton, Lawton, and then Guyman, which also don't know if I'm saying that one right. So a lot of weird named cities here, uh, but obviously that is 10 cities in total. And uh, again, a little on the smaller side as far as recent DLCs go. I guess it's hard to compare it though because the most recent DLC that we got before Oklahoma was obviously Texas, which is just massive. So, um, but even still, comparing it to like the previous DLCs and stuff like that, uh, those ones are also a little bit uh, bigger. I think even Nevada had like 11 cities. Um, so, again, Oklahoma is a little on the smaller side, but that is okay. I think their price also reflects it. Um, if I remember correctly, Texas was like $17 or something like that. And uh, this one, if you have all the previous DLCs, this one comes in at like with one of the special bundles comes in at 10.79, or you can buy it by itself for I think 11.99. So a little on the uh, less expensive side, uh, and I would assume that is due to the size of it. So I am still very excited to get into exploring Oklahoma and kind of seeing what it has to offer. So real quick, I'm just going to kind of fly through this bit here that is driving to our first pickup location. The load that we have for this is pelleted animal food, and we are going to be going from Tulsa to Woodward. I thought about maybe taking a load down to Oklahoma City, but then I thought about the fact that, like, I have a feeling most people that are going to be initially exploring the DLC are probably going to go there. I think even Jeff Faviano started in Oklahoma City, so I figured I would do something a little bit different and decided to just go Tulsa to Woodward. And initial reviews that I have seen so far on the DLC are kind of funny to me, so I just wanted to talk about them for a minute. Um, before I do talk about them, I also wanted to note that on this profile, I am using mods, so uh, if there is any sort of like glitches or issues that I run into, um, that is not SCS's fault, pro probably. I mean, I guess it still could potentially be, but either way, DLC just came out. But um, it could also just be mod conflicts or something like that, so I always like to note that when that is the case. Um, but the reason I wanted to bring up the reviews so far, a lot of them obviously are very good. I think it's got like at the time of me recording this it had 94% positive reviews but the very few bad reviews there were were really funny to me because they were saying that it seemed very bland and boring and that there's a lot of just grass and open lands and stuff and that's hilarious to me because um, well it's Oklahoma so <laughs> I mean when you get to the Midwest there really isn't much out there um, and I do, uh, just from what I have already seen so far from watching other people's videos and from this short bit of driving that we've done so far, um, I think SCS has done a fantastic job at making somewhere uh, as boring as Oklahoma can be uh, into something interesting and fun to drive. And I also do want to say, no offense to anyone that does live in the Midwest, um, it, it's funny because... I do mean this all in the best intentions um, because I actually I did do a road trip with my family when I was a kid I think I was I guess yeah I was about 12 I think at the time and we drove through like 14 different states and I honestly think the flat nothingness has like its own special beauty in, in and of itself you know I know a lot of people are like wow this is bland this is boring or whatever but I actually kind of really like the big flat open areas like that. I don't know if it's maybe just because I do currently live in Oregon where it's mostly 
like mountainous and foresty in the areas that I'm in. But I mean, I, at the time that I did that road trip, I did not live in that area. I lived in California and California obviously is a little weird because, um, obviously a lot of it is cities, big cities. But then when you get out of the big cities, it's a lot of flat nothingness. And even still, I feel like that flat nothingness is different from the flat nothingness of the Midwest. Like the Midwest is just, it's a little bit prettier, you know, but, um, I guess I, I should digress at this point. Um, we are pulling in to the like industrial complex area here. This looks a little cool that we've got this entry point that we are starting in. Um, it looks like some sort of security check thing. Um, seems like the vehicles do not go through it very quickly so that's a little bit of a bummer but still a pretty cool cool spot here and we have now cleared the security check did take a little while each car takes probably about 15 seconds or so and then even once you hit the activate button to have it do your security check it also takes uh, about 15 seconds or so and looking at the map here it is interesting we're not actually like at our pickup spot so we still have a fair bit of driving to do to get to it so this really is like a pretty big industrial complex I guess so uh, that's pretty cool I kind of like seeing that that the security point isn't just like okay you drive the through the security check and then you're straight at your little depot it's uh, there's actually multiple businesses back here and uh, multiple pick up and drop off locations that look like it looks like so that is pretty cool Obviously, a lot of big machinery. Looks like a lot of railroad tracks and stuff like that. Lots of different uh, spots. I don't know how many in the game here are going to actually have trains that are moving, but you can still see that there are lots of train tracks and um, at least stagnant trains kind of sitting around, which is cool to see. Lots of big concrete pipes and stuff and um, other sort of industrial things, metals and stuff like that and cranes and all that kind of stuff. But we are pulling up to our pickup spot here on the left. Interesting spot for the activation point to just be right in the middle of the train tracks. But uh, I guess since there's a trailer sitting on them, probably means they're not active. So that is good. All right, and then going into the exterior view here, it looks like our pickup spot is off to the right there. Um, so I guess I'll go ahead and pull on to the train tracks yet again, but uh, some different ones here, and then I will go ahead and get backed into my spot. This is going to be nothing special, so I just go ahead and skip to being loaded. Or maybe I won't, because that looks like some new cargoes there on that flatbed or the step deck there. My apologies. That looks pretty cool. Some of those, uh, oh, I forget what those are called, but uh, the, like, yard yard dogs I think that's what those are called I don't know somebody can correct me but that's still pretty cool to see those as an available load for the step deck we are now all loaded up um, I'll be completely honest up until this point everything has actually been a um, voiceover uh, but now we are live I mean quote unquote live I guess not actually but you get what I'm saying we are recording as we're driving, whereas before we drove first and then recorded the audio later. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and get on driving. Um, not a super long drive to, to Woodward, but a decent little ways. So let's see what it actually is. It's about 200 miles, a little bit under, 199. So this will be a good little drive for us, get to see some new stuff, and to get to do our first bit of exploration, really, of the Oklahoma DLC while having a loaded trailer. So obviously as usual with my new DLC videos I don't exactly talk the whole time but I do try to talk as much as I can or try and point out things when I notice them but if I don't have anything to say then I'll just let you guys kind of enjoy the sounds of the trucks and we are already off to a rough start as it appears we have had a collision in front of us. So I guess I will go ahead and move on past this and pick you up then. Alright, turns out they figured it out for a brief moment. And now this guy has also hit another truck. And now the original truck that got hit that 
Kenworth right there backed up and now has pulled forward again and is probably going to get hit again. Yep, sure enough. So <laughs> I guess I'm just going to drive around it. Um, again, these are things that probably will be fixed eventually in the DLC or again maybe it could be a mod conflict or um, I might actually have my uh, whatchamacallit, my traffic amount at a higher number than the normal amount, you know, normally it's just uh, traffic is at one, I think I might have it at like two or two and a half or something like that, so maybe that's causing the issue, but either way, we've made it past it and are continuing to roll along, speed limit here is only 30 and I am going like 45, so I'm going to slow down a little bit, but yeah, this little industrial complex is really cool. It's also, I, I I know some people don't like it, but I do kind of like it when there are roads that, and, and like businesses that you can't actually access. I kind of like it. It adds to the realism because realistically, you're not always going to, I mean, you know, some places you just can't deliver to. So I kind of do like that. And it looks like we also go through a security check on the way out. So that's a little odd, but I guess we'll go ahead and, and do that security check and as it was with the way in, it appears it again takes like 15 seconds or so. I don't know if that was actually 15 seconds, but it sure feels like it. And because of how long that check, I can almost guarantee we are going to miss this light. No, maybe not. But what is this guy doing? Okay, you're going to stop. Cool. Or not. I guess you're just going to crash right into the side of me, so that's fine. I mean, I guess technically he did have the right-of-way, but I never claimed to be the best driver, so we're all good. Right, now is he going to let me in now that he's next to me? Sort of. Alright, looks like we've got another prefab off to the right, another new, new company. Oh, it's a new company because it is a one-off. It uh, looks like the bus depot, maybe? I, I don't know why I say maybe as if there aren't like a million school buses parked outside of it. Um, yeah, okay, so one was, one is Yelko, which is the school buses, and then it looked like, I think the other one said Tulsa Freight or something, so that's another one-off, so that's kind of cool to have two one-off companies right next to each other. I kind of like that. Getting on to the freeway here, but we've got a really weird intersection. So these people stopped here, but the line is up here. So I'm just going to go to the line, and I'm making a right anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But that's a little weird that the other uh, vehicles stop, like, so far behind the line. And I know it is because there's that road there, but, like, I don't know. You would think that, like, they would have put the line that far back if you did need to stop there I don't know that's a weird very weird intersection I don't know why they have a road that close to an intersection that's not actually part of the intersection you know just doesn't seem to make much sense big junction here that we're going over lots of crossing over and different freeways and stuff let's go ahead and go into an exterior camera and take a look at all this stuff I guess I probably shouldn't go into the uh, into the exterior camera actually as because then I can't see the um, map I know I could just pull up the UI but I don't like to because I'm lazy, so I'm going to do this instead.
another big junction. Lots of, again, crossovers and all that kind of stuff. It says right lane ends, but doesn't actually look like the right lane ends. Oh, I guess it does, just a little further up. So we've got these cars merging in from the right, and then I also have to merge to the left as well. speed limit of 55 now we're going up to 65 and they got some toll toll road signs turn pass cheaper and smarter interesting hopefully we don't need any any of those things wow we're going all the way up to 75 oh just kidding because we got a construction zone Yeah, you can kind of already see as soon as we get out of get out of Tulsa, it immediately is like flat stuff. We at least got some trees over here, um, and it looks like we got some stuff off, off on the hill over there. Maybe some farmland with some antenna. I mean, not antenna. Um, some you know electrical structures of sorts. But uh, yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I I really enjoy driving through. I think this stuff looks so cool. Oh, interesting. So we do actually have some sort of toll thing. Cashless toll. We just keep moving. We will bill you. All right. And uh, there, based on the sounds, it sounds like we did actually get billed. Uh, let's see. Dang, I couldn't pull up the UI fast enough to be able to see how much how much the toll was. But that's cool. Im cool imp implementation there and uh, I don't know if you can hear my wife in the background but she thinks it probably costs about three billion dollars so um, I guess that's what that's what we're gonna go with uh, thankfully in this game I think I have well let's see let's take a quick pause how much money do I have oh bummer I've only got I've only got 168 million dollars so I cannot afford that toll unfortunately or maybe I could afford the toll and now after paying three billion dollars I'm down to 168 million This is cool. Got a little uh, rest stop off to the left here. Uh, looks like you can get gas and uh, rest, like actually sleep as well. I know there are some rest stops in this game that you can't actually sleep at, but that is one that you can. So that's cool. It's weird to see it like in the middle of the uh, the middle of the two sides of the the freeway, but I do kind of like that. Makes it so that both sides can access it easily. That is one thing that kind of bothers me sometimes on road trips and stuff is when you pass an area where there's a rest stop on one side, but it's not the side that you're on, and uh, and you need to go to the bathroom or something. And you're like, well, dang it! I, if I could just get to the one on the other side, I would have no issues whatsoever. But because I'm on this side, I now am going to have to pee my pants. So, kind of like situations like that where you've got the the rest stop in the middle it makes it a little easier for everybody. going on that little talk about the rest stops. I got brake checked by that Dodge Charger. Almost rear-ended him, but managed to avoid it. Would have been my second crash of the day already, and that would not have been super ideal. So this is interesting. We've got we're on the highway and we've got a train crossing the highway. Like a 55 mile an hour the highway. That is very odd to me. I don't think I've I mean like I've seen that on the internet, I guess, but I've never actually seen one in person. And I guess this isn't actually in person, but still very interesting.
don't know why we're stopping here. I know you're not supposed to stop on the railroad tracks, but like they're two cars. They have plenty of room. It's weird. Weird stuff. Oh, and now... Oh, I assume it's because of the turn lane. Yeah. I was about to say, now there's traffic backed up in the left lane for no reason, but it was for a reason. But that means I get to go straight up to the front of this lane, so... I certainly am not complaining. Guess it's also worth noting that we do have some cool truck stops here. Got one both off to the left and to the right, so whichever one is easier to access is the one that you can go to. I'm gonna go ahead and get back into the right lane now. I'm hoping my dogs are bumping into me. They're very cute though, so I'm not mad. Looks like we are heading into Enid or Enid. Again, don't know how to say it for sure. I'm assuming Enid, but I am certainly no geographer person, so I'm probably not the best with pronouncing city names. Oh my goodness. The dogs just slammed into my desk and moved my mouse. Okay, I guess they're just going to keep doing it, so... I apologize for the sudden camera movements. <laughs> I'm just gonna let the dogs be dogs, though. Oh, got a little bit of lag going on here. Oh, my goodness. So, looks like off to the right we got like a photo spot of some sort. So, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Go into photo mode. And then let's see what there is to see. I don't know if it's... Oh, the Heritage Center. Got it. Very nice. Let's see if we can get both our truck and the Heritage Center in the picture. There we go. Got a thumbnail now. Alright, so grabbed that photo from... Or of, I should say, the Heritage Center. That was pretty cool. Looks like we got a cool like, mural down there as well on that building off to the side this seems like a very historical historical town or city public school looks like interesting looking school hospital off to the left it looked like also pretty cool looking that is like a really big hospital oh yeah they've even got an ambulance out front I didn't realize. I thought this was just a like a, you know, two vehicles that were driving. I didn't realize it was a, a road event. <laughs> I almost just crashed into those people that were trying to merge into me. Lots of train tracks in Oklahoma, it seems like. <laughs> I guess that kind of makes sense. I feel like Oklahoma City is a pretty important hub for train activity. Now that 
we are rolling out of Enid. You can see we go back into the complete flat nothingness that is the normal areas of Oklahoma. But again, it, there's something special about it, you know? I really like it. Like, you can see it's not completely flat. We've got, like, some slow rolling hills in both directions. You know, we've got farm buildings and crops and all that kind of stuff. And again, I think that's what that's what I really like about it, you know? It's like... You can see really, really far, and so you can see all the things that aren't, like, are special, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm just weird. I like I like the flat states like this. That's why I was really happy for SES to be getting to the Midwest like they are. And I'm, I'm excited for, you, you know, Kansas is next. And then um, they just posted a teaser blog the other day, but it looks like Nebraska is going to be after that, which is... Uh, continuing their usual path of like going like north to south and then south to nor north and just kind of zigzagging through the uh, the country so I really am excited to to have all the all these midwestern states here done within the next couple years I think it'll be really cool I honestly kind of have it with how like flat and empty <laughs> these states are and with how well they handle texas i kind of do believe that they're gonna be able to get both kansas and nebraska done by the end of the year i know some people may think that's crazy and maybe it is maybe maybe if scs ever listened to this video they would be like yeah no way but i don't know i kind of they've i mean they've been really strong with um you know getting states out pretty quickly and still having that quality, um, you know, quality of the of the actual builds itself. So, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But I've got I've got faith. Um, obviously, I'm pulled over. I'm pulling off into this little uh, viewpoint here. So, we're gonna go ahead and enjoy the ambient sounds. All right, and that was the viewpoint for Gloss Mountain State Park, and there's also a photo spot here, so I'm going to get a picture of that real quick. All right, got the screenshot of the uh, rock structure off to our side there. Um, we saw it in the uh, little viewpoint montage, so I'm not going to take a look at it again, but nice to knock some of these viewpoint and photo spots out of the way nice and early on while having the DLC. Looks like more cool rock structures in front of us and off to the left. Very interesting to see. So it's so weird to have those rock structures like again just kind of in the middle of nowhere <laughs> you know like it doesn't they just it almost doesn't seem like they fit it doesn't 
didn't seem like they were meant to be there, but they are very cool. like we are closing in, in on Woodward and our delivery spot is just up and to the right. And is it this dirt road here? No, okay. Almost went down the wrong road would not have been good. Sorry for all of the traffic that I slowed down more than I needed to. And more railroad crossings. <laughs> yeah, I guess we can't, can't get enough of them here in Oklahoma. like we're delivering in here. Go ahead and just turn right on into this entryway. Might not have swung wide enough for that. Looks like maybe I did. And then, oh, this was not the correct entry area. Well, that's okay. All right, let's go ahead and go into the fly cam and then figure out where we're actually supposed to deliver to. Oh, right in front of us. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and get this delivered. I'm going to go ahead and get my window rolled down here. Hopefully this will be a fairly easy back, but say for sure. Alright. No, oh, I think this will be pretty easy. Oh, I might make it a little bit more complicated than it needs to be. Well, no, I think we're still going to do good. Oops, wrong way. Yep, I did make it a little bit more complicated than it needed to be, but I think we'll still be okay. Hopefully not scraping up against that trailer off to my right. Like, my right when facing forward, I should say. <laughs> Alright, let's check the UI. Am I good? Yeah. Alright, wasn't my best park job ever, but you know what? Got the job done. With that, that is going to do it for today's video. Uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed. I certainly did. I'm excited to do some more exploration of Oklahoma. I will definitely do some recording of that. Don't know if I'll have any commentary. Honestly, might just kind of just record the game. It seems to be kind of the popular thing nowadays with American Truck Simulator is just recording the game itself with no commentary. So um, I might just do that and just let you guys enjoy the sounds of the game. But Either way, again, I do appreciate you guys watching, and if you have gotten this far, uh, please do consider dropping a like, comment, and subscribing, and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Peace!